Arithmetic sequence is also known as arithmetic progression. It is a sequence in which each term is obtained from the preceding term by adding a common difference. Common difference is commonly represented by a variable d. Let us take this given example. Find the 47th term given the sequence of numbers 5, 13, 21, 29, 37. What is its 47th term? So we can solve this given by using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d, wherein a sub n represents the n term, a sub 1 is the first term in our given sequence, n is the uh, term, and d represents the common difference. So step 1, we will lay down the given. In here, our a sub n is the uh, a sub 47, since our n is 47, and that's what we're trying to find. Then our a sub 1 here is the first term in our given. In this case, that is 5. Our n is 47, so that is the position of the number that we're going to find in our sequence. And lastly, the common difference is 8. How did we get the common difference? So from the word difference, that is the result of subtraction. So subtracting the number uh, by its preceding number, so 13 minus 5, and you will get 8. 21 minus 13 is also 8. 29 minus 21 is also 8. In, uh, also 37 minus 29. So their differences are 8. That's why they are called uh, the common difference. So after laying down the given, step 2 is write the formula and substitute the given. So our n here, or a sub n, is a sub 47. Our a sub 1 replaced by 5. Our n is replaced by 47, and our d, or the common difference, is replaced by 8. Then, let us solve this algebraically. So, uh, using the order of the operation, we will start uh, from the inside of the parentheses. So, 47 minus 1, that is 46, then multiply it by 8, that is 368, plus 5, it's 373. And that is the a sub 47, or the 47 term of this uh, given sequence. Given number 2, in the arithmetic sequence 21, 16, 11, 6, and so on and so forth, which term is the negative 34? So step 1, lay down the given. So our a sub n here is negative 34. Then our a sub 1 is the first term, which is 21. Our d is equal to negative 5. That is by subtracting the number uh, to its uh, by its preceding number. So 16 minus 21, that is negative 5 because we are subtracting a bigger number to the smaller number. Then we're going to find the n because that is uh, asked in our problem, which term? So our n here is unknown. Step 2, write the formula and substitute the given. So a sub n is negative 34. a sub 1 is 21. And our d here is negative then let us solve this algebraically. So we can simplify this by uh, distributing negative 5 to quantity n minus 1. And this gives us uh, negative 5 times n is negative 5n. Negative 5 times negative 1, that is positive 5. Then remove the parentheses. That is negative 4 plus 21 uh, equals 21 minus 5n plus 5 because positive times negative is negative. Then combined like terms, 21 plus 5, that is 26. Then we want to isolate n. So we will start by eliminating positive 26, that is by subtracting 26. And we must do it in each side of the uh, equation. So 26 plus negative 26 is 0. So we are left with negative 5n on the right side. Then on the left side, negative 34 plus negative 26 is negative 60. Then, finally, divide each side of the equation by negative 5 so that n is isolated. Then, negative 60 divided by negative 5 is positive 12. Therefore, our n is 12. And that is the uh, position of negative 34 in our given sequence. Negative 34 is in the 12th term. And lastly, 
given a sub 1 is equal to negative 1, a sub 5 is equal to 15, find the common difference. And this is how it looks like. Our a sub 1 is negative 1. Our a sub 5 is 15. So it is, uh, we cannot find directly the common difference because we do not know uh, the next number after in each term. Okay, so is it possible for us to find the common difference? Yes. Step 1 is lay down the given. So our a sub n here is the a sub 5. And our a sub 5 is in our given, that is 15. a sub 1 is the first term, that is negative 1. Our n here is 5 because we have 5 terms in our given. And we're going to find the common difference, d. So step 2, lay down the, uh, write the formula and substitute the given. So a sub n is 15, a sub 1 is negative 1, n is 5, then we will solve for d. So let us solve this algebraically. So 5 minus 1 is 4, then 4 times d, that is 4d. Then we will isolate the variable d. So we can start by adding uh, positive 1 in each side because we want to eliminate negative 1. And 4d is left here. Then on the other side, 15 plus 1 is 16. And finally, divide each side by 4 because we want d to be left alone. So d is left here. Then 16 divided by 4. That is 4. Therefore, the common difference is 4. So if we're going to check if negative 1 really connects uh, to 15 by adding 4. So let's try. So negative 1 plus 4, that is positive 3. 3 plus 4, that is 7. 7 plus 4, that is 11. 11 plus 4, that is 15. So the common difference is really 4.